a composting pilot project has been launched right here at the Cook's Landfill. This is how green waste will be treated once it arrives at the Cook's Sanitary Landfill. It's a part of a pilot project paid for by the Global Environment Facility to reduce unintentionally produced persistent organic pollutants emissions. National Solid Waste Management Authority Manager Daryl Spencer says turning the waste into compost is advanced waste management. This is discontinuing the practice of dumping and recognize that there is value to some of this raw material that comes to Cook's Landfill. This is how the program will work. Raw material from our beautification program, our roadside cleaning program, will now be diverted to this area where the larger trunks will be sh shredded and then we will construct windrow piles like we see here behind us. The compost will go through a process and then be tested by the Department of Analytical Services for approval. Dr. Linroy Christian heads that department and is also the focal point for the Stockholm Convention, a global treaty to protect human health from the effects of organic pollutants. The methane that is generated from the decomposition of organic waste is 80 times worse than carbon dioxide in deteriorating our ozone layer and is responsible for the ground level production of ozone that destroys your lungs. The project was facilitated by the Basel Convention Regional Center for Training and Technology Transfer for the Caribbean. Brian McCarthy, the BCRC's consultant on the program says, separating green waste from others is necessary to ensure it can be turned into compost. The typical load of green waste as it arrives is full of plastics and other contaminants, which means these guys have to spend more than half their time extracting that plastic. And with 102 tons of green waste arriving per day, they just cannot keep up with that influx. The NSWMA manager says this is what will happen once the compost is made. The first few um, bags or packs of compost will be given to our, um, our partners so that we can test it, we can try it out, and then thereafter we'll make it available to the public at a very reasonable cost. Jessica Russell, ABS News.